It's been yet another busy week in the world of Starship, with SpaceX pushing the envelope yet again. They're breaking turnaround records at the orbital launch pad, putting a Raptor through some serious paces over at McGregor, and rolling out the first next-generation Starship to start its own test campaign at Massey. First off, let's head over to McGregor, where SpaceX just did something remarkable. They fired the same Raptor engine a jaw-dropping 51 times over just a few days. Can you believe that? Out of those, 34 firings were in just one day within an hour or so. Thanks to flyover shots from Gary Blair, we know this engine was a Raptor 2, and it's showing off some serious durability. Now, why would SpaceX run an engine through so many rapid cycles like this? Well, it's all about life cycle testing. Just like how aircraft components are tested from takeoff to landing, Raptor engines need to endure countless cycles through static fires, launches, stage separations, boost backs, landing burns, the list goes on. Have you hit the like button yet? Help us boost the YouTube algorithm by giving us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out. Many thanks for your amazing support. The goal is to see how these engines handle the intense demands of spaceflight. This Raptor was tested on the iconic tripod stand, but here's the kicker. Rumors are saying this might be the final test for the tripod stand. A former SpaceX mission director posted about it, and if true, it's a bit bittersweet for fans. That tripod stand gave us some amazing views of mock diamonds during test firing. But hey, if this is the end, at least it went out in style. Over on the horizontal test stand, there's a Raptor 3 making an appearance. This is a big step forward because until now, we'd only seen Raptor 3 on the vertical stand. If testing is moving forward for Raptor 3, that's a great sign. It's likely we'll see Raptor 3 powering up Ship 33, the first ever Block 2 ship, assuming everything checks out. Speaking of Block 2, it just rolled out for testing, and it's looking sharp. It's got a sleek new design, including two primary raceways split from the quick disconnect and a smaller third one running up for the flight termination system. Now, if you're a Starship fan, this new Block 2 design has some notable upgrades from the Block 1 ships. SpaceX removed the large stringers that used to go over the weld line between the nose cone and the payload section. Those stringers were just temporary reinforcement. But the ship looks so much cleaner without them. Expect some extra cryogenic proof tests on this one as SpaceX runs through all the new systems with a fine tooth comb. So when can we expect ship 33 to actually fly? Well, it's complicated. Normally, ships take around six to eight months to get all their final testing and engine installs done before flight. Based on what we've seen, a realistic guess could be sometime around April 2025. Of course, SpaceX has been refining its process, so who knows? Maybe they'll surprise us with an earlier launch. In the meantime, there's progress on Ship 34 and even Ship 35, which is getting its heat shield tile pins installed over in the Star Factory. With the factory now fully operational, Production is ramping up. Over at the orbital launch pad, the tank farm is getting some serious upgrades too. SpaceX is installing new sub-coolers and digging trenches for expanded infrastructure, preparing for even more ambitious missions. One of the week's highlights was the rapid rollout of Booster 13 just nine days after Flight 5. That's a new record, especially considering the pad isn't exactly set up for rapid reusability yet. Once Booster 13 arrived at the launch site, SpaceX ran through several tests, including an ambient pneumatic proof and cryogenic proof tests, and they wrapped it up with a Sunset 33 engine static fire. No official word from SpaceX yet, but that's the 606th engine fired in just 11 days. Truly impressive, considering we're only five flights into the Starship program. Right after this static fire, Booster 13 was rolled back to Mega Bay 1, where it passed by Ship 33 heading out for cryogenic testing. And to cap off the week, Crew Dragon was spotted re-entering over Starbase, lighting up the sky in a spectacular fashion. So, yeah, it's been one busy week. Now let's get into the intriguing part of Elon Musk's Diablo video. 
in the background, you can hear the audio of a meeting with the booster engineering team, and they drop some pretty interesting details. Have you hit the like button yet? Help us boost the YouTube algorithm by giving us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out. Many thanks for your amazing support. Apparently, during Flight 5, a misconfigured gas support system almost triggered an abort sequence, and the booster was one second away from failure. That's mind-blowing. Imagine the precision involved. One tiny adjustment could have changed the outcome completely. The engineer also mentions the new abort criteria they've put in place for landing burns, explaining they nearly delayed the flight to run extra checks. There's also talk about a spot weld issue on one of the chine skins. Just as the booster was coming in for a landing, a piece ripped off over some critical equipment. Thankfully, it didn't damage anything, but SpaceX is looking into stronger fastenings to prevent this from happening again. Now, as for Flight 6, the big question is when it'll happen. This time, the timeline isn't driven by FAA approvals, but rather vehicle readiness. The engineers want to launch as soon as possible, but they're also balancing speed with risk mitigation. With all the changes and improvements underway, we might see Starship Flight 6 lift off by mid-November, though it could slide too later in the year. All in all, SpaceX is pushing forward at an incredible pace, breaking records, and setting new milestones almost weekly. We're witnessing Starship evolve in real time, and who knows what's next. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies and stay tuned for more updates. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.